Hey everybody, this is Kenyon from the Heavy Metal Hideaway. I just want to take you for a quick tour around the gym. This is our Smith machine and accompanying bench. We have the ability to uh, Bluetooth some tunes and some videos if we want to, along with some dumbbells, kettlebells. There's a really cool adjustable kettlebell down there. Also, we have the cable crossover machine and attachments. Um, we're all set to rock and roll there. Then we are going to come back here, just stepping right on back. And there's our 45-pound um, bar that we got locked into a landmine that uh, we can use for landmine squats. We folded up our booty blaster temporarily because I was building something brand new. But before we see that, we have our sissy squat chair right there. We have our our cardio going on. We've got this little decline bench as well as a hyperextension capability. And then finally our punching bag. And this is what came in the other day. This is our Roman chair um, machine that we can actually do leg raises on. Great for the lower abs. And that pretty much takes care of everything we're going to get here at the Heavy Metal Hideaway in Dundee. So we got it going on here. All right, so here we are. I got my whole David Lee Roth get up going on here. This is what I had on for Halloween. But I wanted to make sure that uh, we greeted you tonight with one more question from people on Facebook. I get these questions every once in a while. Uh, last time we talked about various things about angles and sets and how many sets and various stances and so forth. Had a bang up leg day yesterday with Josh Gardner. Thank you, Josh. It was good. We kind of put a little pressure on each other to do a little bit better than we normally would alone. But today's question has to do about diet. I'm asked quite a bit. Some people are a little disgusted when I tell them, but I'm asked, what do you eat? And um, that deserves a couple different answers. It deserves an answer off season like now. We're actually starting to come into a season of uh, looking at different contests and seeing what we want to compete in. And then of course, pre-competition, you know, eight weeks out, 10 weeks out, 14 weeks out, what do we eat to dial in to the competition? I lose all this extra fat we got on, okay? So recently I weighed myself, I am now 242. 242, 52 inch chest and a 34 inch waist, which is a pretty good comparison. It's hell for buying suits, but it is what it is. And uh, the goal for me would be to get down probably to about 220 and about a 31 inch waist and about a 51 inch chest kind of the way it kind of all works out if i were to go into a contest sometime in the middle of summer that would give me plenty of time to do it but i think i think i'm going to shoot for september october for a show it gives me plenty of time and it gives me time to get my head back in the game but what do i eat and i have to tell you it's it's more than that it's um how much of what and when and we're all used to our little habits our bad habits that we get into off season like maybe a donut here or some cookies there maybe we eat a little bit too much pasta we eat bread we shouldn't be eating any bread but um as we dial things in and as i take a look at what i'm eating i generally eat uh, somewhere around 3,500 to 4,000 calories a day from this, that, and the other thing. Probably through the consumption of seven different, we're going to call them meals, uh, maybe an, an extra eighth um, snack, like a snack would be number eight, but then seven meals. And my total protein that I take in at my weight is somewhere around 250 grams of protein. Um, 
which seems like an awful lot of protein, but it is what it is. Um, we get into carbs and we're somewhere up in the range of 300, 400 um, grams of carbohydrates off season. And then of course we add in fats to that. And um, all these things add up, those macros add up to a lot of calories and um, that's just what I gotta have if I'm gonna maintain my, si my size and grow a little bit of muscle. Now, pre-contest, I gotta take a very close look at that and see what of that is garbage. It's, there's some of it that's garbage, about 20% of it, because I'm on kind of about a 75-25 or 80-20 um, percentage of good food to kind of trashy food, I admit it, dirty food. And then I clean that up pre-contest to about 90-95% clean and 5% uh, but no more than 10% um, dirty food or processed or whatever we want to call it. Uh, then we also have to turn the calories down to the point where the muscle that we've taken all this time to grow and put in all this effort in the gym and lifted all these heavy weights and everything, we have to maintain enough carbohydrates and enough protein and enough fat to keep the muscle, yet bring down the calories so that we are just slightly below um, what we burn. It's called a caloric deficit. We wanna create a very slight caloric deficit, maybe 15% or 20% below our typical, I call it a burn rate, it sounds like rockets or close to Cape Canaveral here and the burn rate seems to strike a note but um, if we can turn our caloric intake just below that burn rate and we keep up our same pace of working out and we throw in a little bit of cardio uh, typically that will bring the fat down nice and slow the way we want it without sacrificing any muscle so what do I eat um, you name it eggs chicken I love beef, love red meat. Um, once in a while I have some pork, a um, little bit of potatoes, a lot of white jasmine rice, very little pasta. I kind of try to avoid pasta. I try to avoid bread, certainly um, bread that's not a whole grain or multi-grain bread. Um, and those are the kind of things that you know, I try to eat. I, I like sweet potatoes, but I don't really get a whole lot of those. We're in my situation right now. Um, we don't cook a lot of sweet potatoes in my home. We do cook a lot of rice, uh, some beans and so forth. So that's all good stuff. Uh, but again, avoiding flour products, Anybody, anything that's made out of flour, we gotta try and get rid of. I drink virtually no alcohol. I don't see the need for it. Um, I have a good time, I'm high on life anyway. And uh, processed sugar, I avoid like the plague, except man, if a little bit of processed sugar just happens to sneak into that donut, it's really hard to avoid that donut or that cookie, but it's not something I crave, it's not something I lust after, it's, it's just, um, if it's there, if it's in front of me, if it's calling my name, uh, I'll grab a cookie or a donut, and that's about it, all right? Um, but I do try to make sure when I fall asleep, I mention timing, uh, when you're eating things. I try to eat enough protein before I go to bed so that when I fall asleep and my pituitary gland makes its human growth hormone about an hour after I fall asleep, that my body has enough protein to feed the growth hormone so that they work together and repair the muscle, okay? You have to keep the feeding going and a lot of people lose a lot of weight with this fasting thing. Yeah, you're gonna lose a lot of weight. You're gonna lose a lot of fat. You're gonna lose a lot of muscle. Um, I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. Um, but if I'm lucky, I fast between midnight and about six in the morning. Sometimes 11 o'clock at night and six in the morning. That's when I fast. And then when I wake up, I break fast. Get it? All right, if you have any questions, make sure you send them to us. Um, Cam Active Body Gear uh, on Facebook. We're also on Etsy. We can do fitness plans. We can do nutrition plans. We make them specific to you, your 
your age, your sex, your weight, your height, your activity level. We need to know all these things so that we design the plan so that you take in the correct number of calories for you, not for me. You don't need to eat 4,000 calories, maybe. Maybe you need to eat 1,800 calories, all right? So it has to be designed for you, as does your exercise plan. Your workout plan needs to be designed around your goals for you, not my goals for you. Um, I urge every one of my clients to come at me with their goal. Like, what's your goal? What's your dream? And I don't want to hear tone. That's a cop out. Toning is cool. Toning is great. But what's your dream? What's your vision of what you want to be? All right. So we need to know all these things. We're going to come back at you from the heavy metal hideaway in a few more days. Come out with some more things. And we've got some real cool um, pictures and videos we're going to throw up from leg day yesterday. Uh, we just didn't do all of them because we just get so wrapped up in the workout we actually forget to, to tape and to video. But we'll get them out there. We'll throw them up on Facebook. Please go to our YouTube. When you click on our YouTube thing, please hit like and subscribe. It's, it's the game. It's the name of the game. You got to like us. You got to tell us you like us. You got to follow us because um, it means so very much to what we do here. All right. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. And remember, tomorrow is Monday. Never miss a Monday workout. All right. See you later. Bye.